Right now we're playing with wires. Never realized just how complicated it is to get the perfect wiring for a Lego city. We're trying um, black wire right now from pole to pole and we got a long way to cover. Zebedak is up on the pole and um, he's a nut. He's not even wearing a hard hat and um, anyway he's trying black and he's trying a kind of bluish type and um, you know we gotta power this town somehow so I don't know what do you guys think looks better this color or the black comment below let me know what you think because we're just not sure and a quick little spin around we have to power the, the uh, Home Depot, the Best Buy, the Kroger's, the residential area, which is going to go in down there. All that stuff. Waffle House, Papa John's, the bus station, Dunkin' Donuts, Pizza Hut. Um, let's see, train area. The, um, that stuff. Um, let's see, all those restaurants there. This big skyscraper. The diner, the pet shop, the cinema. So all that has got to be powered by these lines. So it's important we get it right. And, you know, Broadway Street is the main street in this whole city. So we want it to look good, too. Do these look good? I mean, I know. We should bury the lines underground, right? But in this case, we're not going to. We're going to go above ground on these awesome poles gonna go all the way down we're also gonna have a lot more signage in there like that and um, down at the end there we're gonna have a big old power center so it is gonna give life to the city so tell us what do you like better do you like either of these black this color this color certainly does show out better so tell me black or blue what do you think of the city so far? It's coming along. We've got a video coming out on that really soon. Everybody, thanks for watching. If you like highly detailed vlogs and behind the scenes stuff, be sure to click right there. If you like highly detailed Lego sets like Home Depot and Best Buy, click over there. We will see you all next time from Broadway, right here on Brick Addict.